Hi guys, welcome back to Riddler Gaming. Today we're having a look at Moonchase Star by Cinebro Games. This is Cinebro Games' first commercial game. Um, it's on Desura at the moment. And it's a physics-based pla uh, physics platformer, if I can speak, um, based around a moon. So we're going to jump into a new game and I'll give you a look at it. First thing you'll notice is kind of the monochrome look of the game. It's very, very well styled. It looks very nice. I really like it. You can see the star kind of going over there, and the aim is to get to the, the moon, which is this thing bouncing along here, to the star, so it can shine like a star. And there we go. It uses some kind of tractor beam to pull it up. The other thing you'll notice is the music, which is Royalty Free Music from Kevin MacLeod. Um, as first time developers, I guess they can't really afford to pay anyone to come up with the, their own music. And it kind of fits the monochrome, kind of like silent movie style theme with the ragtime stuff at the moment. Later on, however, um, the music loop changes and it doesn't quite fit it, um, I th in my opinion, anyway. But yeah, this is a first time developer um, who, the, the guys in it are in high school, so very young, obviously. And this is a pretty impressive game they've managed to produce. It's very simple. Um, it's just kind of like a platform we get from one end of the level to the other. But, at the same time, they've got a very nice physics engine based around it, which works incredibly well. The controls are very precise and very good to play. And the level design, is, which is my favourite thing about the game, is fantastic. Um, it gets very varied, and with different mechanics being added later on, um, it adds a lot of replayability to the game. Um, which I'm a big fan of. So, the star auto-scrolls, you have to follow it. If you go to the edge of the level though, you die, which I think is a bug. Um, I'll, you'll probably see an example of that later on. Even if the game kind of, even if you would survive normally on the other end of the screen, it classes you as dead um, or like into the abyss, because the deep abyss of space is no place for a moon. Let's bounce along. Also, before this game came, I didn't even know that moons bounced. Or there were massive platforms in space. I don't know. This game's cool. I like the look of it. So here's another mechanic. These are black holes. You jump into one and you come out of another one. Like a wormhole. And there we go. You've got to be quite quick off the mark. Otherwise you fall. And the moon will be drifting through space through forever. There we are. Ta -da. Things you never quite know how far the uh, the stars like beam thing will like get you from. For example, there it's huge, beams you up from a long way away. But other times it's quite small, and you have to be really, really close to it. See, this is when I start to think the music doesn't really fit the game. This is kind of like a laid-back saloon type type thing, and um, maybe for like a western game. But I kind of feel like it needs more kind of spacey, spacey music. That's just my opinion on it. And this is my most hated level because the trail of the damn star gets in the way of these stupid platforms. And I end up looking at the star as opposed to looking at the moon. It's just being a troll. It's Troll Star 101. But there we go. Sorted. We're blitzing through these levels. But as you can see the level design's good. This is one of the ones that I like. For just for just for the level design, I think it's quite clever. Using the falling blocks. Come on, come on. Come on, controls, you can do that. Hitting the edge of the blocks is the worst thing ever because it just fires you off. You you gotta be so precise and you really have to know the physics engine to be precise. Oh no, I'm not going to make the auto scroll. <sighs> the game's actually really forgiving for this one as well. This level's really slow. Like, the auto scrolls are really, really slow. But I was just taking ages up the top. Sometimes you get caught in a nasty, uh, nasty cycle. Like, come on, get in. Get in there. Get in there. No, come on. Yes. I just made it. There we go. But I don't think there's much more to say about this game. It kind of 
it's quite self-explanatory. It's pretty simple. Um, and yeah, it's a good job for a first attempt at a commercial game. It's also very cheap to buy. It's one pound ninety-nine, which is like I don't know, three dollars, something like that, in American monies. And there's a lot of replayability and a lot of playtime in it. The only thing I, w I wish there was some kind of timer or some kind of like death count or something. Some something to like so that you could have some kind of competition with other people. A timer would be good, I think. Um, just for like not speed runs, but kind of like just com competing against friends with times or something or some kind of leaderboard. I think platformers nowadays kind of need that. Maybe that's just my opinion on it, but I kind of think that having some way to kind of get the gist of how good you are against friends, maybe, or just, just have a bit of a laugh and kind of competitive nature, kind of races or something like that. But, you know, that could be added later if they fancy doing that, or if they're just working on something else, then fair enough, but... There we go. Just down that way. We're now in some kind of, like, weird draconian music. It's got quite intense all of a sudden. I don't know what I'm expect expecting to happen. Some kind of like rebellion against the French. Like the French Revolution to happen or something. Or like Le Mis to start happening. You gotta go fast. See, this is where all the mechanics start working together and create quite, like, you know, a very enjoyable game. I think it's pretty important to have all the mechanics working so well together. I think I'm going to play this level and then I'm going to call it quits, to be honest with you, because I'm not sure there's much else to say on the subject of... Moonchase Star. This, this level's really simple as well. It's just that, that block it. Ooh, yes. Nice. Nailed it. There we go. Right, guys. This video is available. Uh, this video, this game's available on Dezura. It's £1.99, like I said before. Um. Yeah, it's pretty good. There are 50 levels that you get with the game, each of which you can kind of choose on the main menu. Um, so you can kind of play through at your own leisure, which is quite a nice little touch to it. Um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe and all that jazz, and stick around because there's going to be much more, uh, there's going to be many more first impressions videos in the near future. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye.